we have another question from Angela Roo regarding the output of the video once you do video editing and when you export it, what file format does it exist in? So we're gonna show you a quick peek now on how to actually video edit on the 7.7 .7 and also what format it does output in. Let's have a look at it. So in the video maker, we just go to the apps over here. We've got the video maker app. So we add a new project. Uh, we won't add any particular themes to it, but you can frame it as you can see. Okay, so then we've got the sample video that's already on the uh, on the machine, and if you have other videos on there as well, you can add uh, new videos. Press that, and bring it in. And there it is. So what we can now do is just go across the timeline, and uh, we can have a look at the previous screen here, what we've done to it. So for example, we can add some effects. There's some preset effects there making it gray, embossing, making it negative. Let's change it to sepia. And bring it in. So you can see there the change that we make. And in fact, we can actually just play it back as a preview just here. Okay, now if we had further uh, videos, we could also put those in and then add a transition between it as well, which you can see here, dissolve, fade, wiping, so once we've done all that, we then want to export it. And one of the questions we had was, what was the export file format? So let's have a look. So we just press the menu bar, we go to export movie. And you can see there's actually quite a wide range of different resolutions, all the way from QCIF, which is 176 by 144, all the way up to 1280 by 720, so which is HD. So we'll just choose the HD version. We'll call it project one, which is fine. And it actually, uh, saves it as an mp4 file. Now this is a rather large uh, file so we're not going to uh, totally export it but we did want to show you what the process was and what the end result would be in terms of the file format. So there you have it, there's a bit of video editing for you um, and we can see what sort of file format is output at the end. Until next time.